Hey guys, how are you all doing? So I'm at the end of week four of this challenge, this Operation Get Dan Dice that I'm doing. So I've now got two more weeks left to try and get my body fat down as low as possible. And let me tell you, I feel awful. Basically, um, it could be because of the lack of sleep as well. Now, combined with being in such a calorie deficit with a high training load over a prolonged period, it could be the sleep factor. But I've experienced this before when I've dieted down, and it is quite common. Um, other people go through this too. Basically, it is difficult to do everything pretty much um, training in the gym uh, performance is down the toilet um, <laughs> the weights I'm using I will not disclose because it is embarrassing I may as well just pink, pick up the pink Reebok dumbbells <laughs> but this is absolutely normal this is what I expect and this is kind of what you have to accept as part of the process it's the way it is um, in bodybuilding, they say a bodybuilder looks their best and looks their strongest when they actually feel their worst and they are in fact at their weakest. And that is so true. Um, when you're in such a calorie deficit and your body fat gets below a certain level, performance just plummets. So if you were trying to lose body fat for athletic performance there is only a certain limit I'd recommend people drop their body fat down to before they'd they'd know they'd be able to tell that okay I've gone too far now I'm not performing very well um, I will be quite probably dropping the calories even lower over these next two weeks um, just to continue to really dial in and get that body fat as low as I possibly can do so it's gonna suck but it's you accept it is what it is and you just man up and go through it pretty much um, the reason why you have to keep dropping calories is because of a little thing called adaptive thermogenesis basically your metabolism gets used to what you're doing um, this is why with any diet, even if, if you're following a normal weight loss diet where you're just trying to lose a bit of weight to see abs, um, even then you couldn't stick on the same calorie amount forever. Like literally your body just gets used to it. Adaptive thermogenesis. So that's why you either have to increase the exercise load or you have to decrease the food intake to maintain um, that progress to carry on losing weight so going back to being in the topic of being in such a low body fat percentage um, you can't stay like this <laughs> I, I will not be staying at very low body fat um, <laughs> I mean maybe maybe a week maybe two weeks maximum even if I wanted to my body wouldn't let me um, it is not natural for your body to be that low um, so pretty much adaptive thermogenesis, what we're talking about here, it will force your body to slow down its metabolism. Um, it becomes super efficient at doing everything so that it conserves energy so that you're expending less energy. Even if you keep your activity levels the same, the body just becomes more efficient because it knows it's been starved. So don't be deceived by what you see in, in bodybuilding magazines or fitness magazines or even on Instagram where you see guys and girls looking completely lean and ripped and shredded they will not stay like that all the time it is impossible I mean they might stay so that their abs are showing okay so you have a level of leanness but to be like completely like veins popping absolutely diced like no that you can't do that permanently so uh, if you're seeing Instagrammers who always look like that, pff, my guess is that they're using photos that were all taken during the same week and they just drip feed them throughout the course of the year so you think that they're always looking like that. Or they use filters, obviously. That's a lot of people do that. Or 
they go through phases where you don't even notice, perhaps, due to the certain pictures that they post, where they will let their body fat rise again slowly and then bring it back down again slowly so that their weight is going up and then going back down again, up and then they will diet back down again. Because to stay in that state where you are completely lean, no, no. You, you can have abs showing you around, yeah, okay, you can be that lean, but to be really that lean, no, that is not maintainable. So I'm rambling right now, I'm tired. Um, I'm going to end this video and I will check in with you later.